What's up guys and welcome back to the car tricks We're going to see an amazing move today A super awesome car trick to do with just one hand And yeah of course it's one of my favorite one handed cuts It opens a lot of doors to do some amazing moves with your playing cards In this video we're gonna watch 5 stunning applications of one move And I'm talking guys about of course Thumb cut. We're gonna watch the minimal application of the move, then we're gonna see the basic move. We're gonna see also a two handed display that I especially love. And last but not the least, we're gonna see an application to execute a kinda false shuffle using the basic technique of the thumb cut. And as a final move, we're going to see a super amazing one card production executed in two variations. Yeah, of course, we have a lot of content in this video, so grab your playing cards and let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start holding the deck in not a deal or grip but a little modification of this grip that is going to be this little variation. This will help us to place the thumb in this border of the deck. So now it's going to be easier to split it like this. That is the next action that we're gonna do. Maybe you are gonna find here a common problem and it's that you probably are thinking that your thumb is too short to get this action. So my tip here is try to find a grip that you are comfortable. Maybe your grip is going to be this or maybe this depending on the size of your thumb. Something that also will help you to do this move is try to do it with less cards. So maybe with less cards you are gonna do this splitting action easily. When you split the bucket you are gonna hold it in this position and you have enough space here to put this bucket on the top and you are gonna do it with these two fingers, with the ring finger and with the pinky. These fingers are doing this action and you are doing this motion with this bucket and this motion is gonna be the one that allows us to put this bucket on the bottom. So here what's going to happen at the same time that we're doing this action is that the index finger is gonna contact this part of the upper bucket. So note how we have enough space to uh, do uh, this action with the index finger and this finger is going to be the one that is going to hold this packet helping the packet to place it on the bottom. You can see how this packet is doing almost automatically the rest of the action. So I'm going to repeat it. I'm gonna split the bucket with the ring and the pinky I'm gonna do this beautiful action and now the index finger is gonna be the one that is gonna help complete the move alright guys so now we can see the basic move of the thumb cut that is gonna be this move right here I'm executing this move with the right hand because I'm used to do it but you can also do it with both hands. To avoid confusions we're gonna do it with the left hand. We're gonna start exactly as the minimal thumb cut and now we're gonna split it with the thumb like this. Instead of doing the elevation action with the ring and the pinky we're gonna hold the packet with our middle finger like this and we're gonna place the ring on the bottom. We're gonna place also the pinky here and we are creating this grip in the bottom packet this grip is amazing and it's going to be the grip that is going to create the space to just leave this packet here and completing the cut i'm gonna repeat the move i'm splitting the packet with the thumb you can also help this splitting action with the middle finger like this so you are now getting this beautiful and amazing grip and you can complete the move. Alright guys, so the third card trick is not properly a card trick but just an amazing motion with your hands that you can execute while you are performing the thumb cut. It's just this amazing display of cards and I totally love it. To execute it you only have to open the deck like this, grabbing one packet in each hand then execute a thumb cut in its basic variation like this and then placing both wrists one next to each other and if we rotate the hands like that we are creating like a Kamehameha <laughs> Not really guys, but it's also an amazing technique to freeze a moment like this and then really quickly close it. Don't worry, I'm gonna repeat the closer. We are doing the display like this and then when we are rotating the hands and we are at the limit, I can't rotate more because... <laughs> okay. So when we are here, we need to close the cuts in a regular motion and then 
just doing this closer. I'm repeating display, maybe like this. And closing it. Alright guys, so we're gonna see a kind of false shuffle. It's not really false, but the top packet remains on the top. It's half false. We split the packet, we execute a regular or a basic sum cut, but we're not gonna do the display here. We're just gonna do like a kind of squaring action of these two packets and with the right ring finger and also the middle finger, we're gonna do this amazing rotation to this packet to close it like this. We're gonna get this packet and also spin it in this way. I'm gonna repeat all the move. I'm splitting the packets. I'm doing a thumb cut, a squaring, rotation, and the last packet on the top. As I said, this is an amazing way to keep this card on the top. So I'm gonna do this shuffle and you can see how the top cards remain on the top. We're gonna see guys an extra idea you can add to this awesome shuffle and is this one card production. To execute it you are gonna do exactly the previous shuffle and now when you are closing this packet, the one that is spinning, you are gonna do this action with the thumb and is this one you are gonna close exactly doing the same move but the thumb is gonna be the one that is gonna produce this card. What is interesting here is that we're talking about the bottom card so if we're doing the shuffle note how the card that is going to appear is going to be the ace of diamonds. And now guys we're gonna see a very similar one card production but not exactly the same because we're doing now like a sandwiching routine. So the card that is produced now is sandwich it inside of the deck. To execute it you are doing exactly the same shuffle and exactly the same production but at the time that you are producing the card you are throwing this packet almost at the same time to create the feeling that the card is like sandwich it. I'm gonna repeat it in a slow-mo. We are doing the shuffle. Now the card that is going to be produced is this ace of spades and at the time that I am producing the card. I'm grabbing this packet with these fingers and I'm gonna do a move that we have already watched in previous videos. I'm leaving you the link in the screen so you can go and learn it. But it's basically this action. We are completing the shuffle, we are producing the card and here once it's produced very quickly I am doing this beautiful throw of the bucket. Alright guys, so that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I was thinking of doing something more in this video, so you can leave me a comment saying which of these card tricks is your favorite. This could be a cool way for me to see which moves do you prefer in this channel. Maybe card productions, maybe 100 cuts, and maybe some false shuffles. And of course guys, don't forget to hit the like button down below and transform it into a blue thumbs up. And of course the last thing, and do you know what I'm gonna say? You can download my free ebook. <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave a thumbs up only for this song. And yes, finally, that was all for today, guys. And see you in the next video. Goodbye. But it's basically this action of throwing the packet to the ground. <laughs> <laughs>